Hello everybody. It's all my pleasure to meet you again in this series of e-learning lectures, aimed at developing your knowledge and skills in the area of ESP, English for specific purposes. This is lecture number 8. Text and Discourse in an ESP Context. By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to Define the meaning of text and discourse. Determine the role of text and discourse. Define discourse analysis in an ESP context. But, before we move forwards, if you have not been here before, then, welcome to the Univ English channel. If you do like videos like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also smash the notification bell. To receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this. So, let's begin with this important question. What do you know about text and discourse analysis in an ESP context? Introduction ESP texts and discourses are typically intended for a specific audience, as well as for achieving particular goals. The specialized vocabulary plays a very important role in the ESP teaching and learning process, since it is imperative for the acquisition of efficient reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills. This means that text and discourse analysis can support ESP teaching and learning efficiency particularly with regard to syllabus creation, selecting appropriate classroom materials and teaching methods, techniques, and activities. What is a text? A text is a written work that a person can read, whether it be a work of literature, a poem in a book, a lesson on the blackboard, or a street sign. It consists of a series of indicators which act as a whole to communicate a message. Generally, a text refers to a piece of writing such as novels, short stories, or plays and dramas. Text can even be the content of a letter, a bill, a poster or other like entities that contain written material. What is a text analysis? A text analysis explores the formal linguistic features that differentiate a text from random sentences. A text analysis depends on many factors. 1. Needs linguistic analysis. 2. Interpretation is based on linguistic evidence. 3. It is crucial to have the right tool in order to analyze text properly. What is a discourse? There are many definitions and meanings associated with the term discourse. Historically, the discourse has been interpreted as dialogue, interaction between an audience and a speaker. Thus, discourse refers to everyday authentic communication, mostly oral, which is part of a wider context of communication. A discourse can refer to the whole body of codified language used in a particular body of intellectual inquiry and of social practice, for example medical discourse, legal discourse, etc. Michael Foucault describes discourse as systems of thoughts composed of ideas, attitudes, courses of action, beliefs, and practices that systematically construct the subjects and the worlds of which they speak. It is generally recognized that discourse is the use of written or spoken language in a social context. What is discourse analysis? A discourse analysis studies texts from the perspective of the function and purpose for which the discourse was produced, as well as the context in which it was produced. The main goal is to demonstrate how linguistic elements facilitate communication among language users. Discourse analysis focuses mainly on 1. How texts relate to contexts of situation and context of culture. 2. How texts are produced as a social practice. 3. What texts tell us about what people think and believe etc. 4. How texts represent an ideology. Difference between text and discourse. The terms text and discourse are often used in linguistics, literature, and language studies. These two terms are subject to much debate regarding their interchangeability. While some linguists see text and discourse analysis as the same process, others define them as two separate concepts. The term text can refer to any type of writing that can be read. Meanwhile, the term discourse refers to the use of language in a social context. Accordingly, a text differs from discourse in this way. Uses of discourse analysis 
Discourse analysis is the study of the ways in which language is used in text and contexts, developed in the 1970s. Discourse analysis concerns itself with the use of language in a running discourse, continued over a number of sentences and involving the interaction of speaker, or writer, and auditor, or reader, in a specific situational context, and within a framework of social and cultural conventions, M. H. Abrams and G. G. Harpam, A Glossary of Literary Terms, 2005. The term discourse analysis refers to the analysis of language beyond the sentence. Discourse analysis takes into account not just the basic content of what is said but also the social and historical context. It is useful to analyze discourse in order to uncover the political meanings behind textual and verbal communication. It is usually used at the beginning of a discussion to highlight the topic and identify it as an important issue for the speaker. The goal of discourse analysis is to study both language use beyond the sentence boundary and use natural language use instead of invented examples. Advantages of discourse analysis Discourse analysis is mainly concerned with the study of language in text and conversation. It is a general term used to describe various methods for analyzing written, vocal, or sign languages or any significant semiotic event. Discourse analysis deals with utterances, not independent sentences. It involves real text not invented, constructed and artificial text. Discourse refers to the way of approaching and thinking about a given problem. Discourse analysis can provide an insight into any phenomenon that researchers are interested in. Discourse analysis can be applied at any given time, any place, and to any person based on context. Discourse analysis can be used for a wide range of reasons. The purpose of discourse analysis is to reveal the hidden motivations that drive the creation of a text or the interpretation of it. Discourse analysis helps us to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the problem by taking a higher perspective toward it. Discourse analysis in an ESP context. When it comes to English for specific purposes, ESP, the focus mainly is on describing language in terms of its communicative aspects and linguistic properties. In the teaching and learning process, teachers should be involved in the analysis of discourse and its implications on language teaching materials. In the ESP context, one should be aware of the shift from the level of a sentence to the level of an utterance in order to convey meaning in specific contexts. Scientists and non-scientists construct their sentences according to the same rules, grammatical rules, however, there are some types of sentences more commonly used for example in a legal, medical, tourism, or scientific context, in order to transmit the message and to align with the professional's needs. For example, medical English and English for healthcare focus on shared spoken and written selected medical workplace vocabulary terms around the world in hospitals, doctor offices, and emergency medical technician operations. The primary focus is on content related to medicine and healthcare professionals. In an ESP context, discourse analysis describes the teaching slash learning of English for a practical purpose and a clearly identifiable goal such as efficient work performance or improved professional training. For instance, English for medical purposes is generally designed to align with the specific English language needs of medical learners, example, nurse, doctors, dentists, etc. To discuss themes and topics specific to the medical field. To focus on a limited set of skills that may be required by the medical learner, for example, writing medical papers, preparing talks for medical meetings, seminars and study days etc. Conclusion. To understand a legal, medical or scientific text, for example, the process depends on grammatical knowledge to determine the key points of grammar and recognize appropriate terminology. Also, it is important to understand the deeper meaning of the sentences. This may be accomplished by using several methods of comprehension, such as relying on the reader's schematic knowledge. ESP learners should keep in mind that it is vital to remember that grammatical skills and scientific knowledge must be related so as to be able to shift from a sentence, usage, 
to an utterance, use, in order to generate meaning following a particular situation.